Hello everyone and welcome to Lawrence Plays and today we're playing Manhunt Checkpoint in first person mode. Yes, so this is going to be um, interesting, shall we say. Um, what did I just pick up? Oh, it's a Stania. Okay, that's reasonably... That's okay, it's sort of middle of the road. Um, I'll, I might switch to a co uh, coupe if I see one. So yeah, first person mode. This is going to be interesting. So it's going to be... Um, we're reckoning that it's obviously it's going to be a lot harder for the hunters to spot the prey. And we think it's probably going to be harder for them to stick with the prey in a chase as well. Because they've got... It's because they're, they're much more restricted on how they can look around. It's just sort of panning around with like this with the camera. Um, which is a lot harder. Or unless you're using the uh, mouse and keyboard. In which case you can look around a little bit quicker. But it's still it's still much more limited than, the, um, than uh, when you're in third person mode. However, on the flip side, it's also going to be harder for me... Because I discovered when I was messing around with it earlier, and just sort of getting in a bit of practice and that sort of thing, trying to get get ready, getting ready for this session, that it's um, it's quite difficult to tell where the car is in the lanes, and also sometimes quite difficult to tell where the lanes are actually going. So, particularly on some of the sort of the weird, funny junctions or the dual carriageway bits, the road does funny things, and it's kind of it's it's difficult to tell what's going on with the road um, from down here in first person mode. So it's it's going to be a bit harder for me for that sort of reason. Um, also, when I'm in a chase, that looks like a purple car there. That's a, a bit of a concern. Uh, it was a bit early as well. We've only just only just got started. Um, but yeah, if I do get into a chase, if I try and look behind myself, it's like that, and it's it's a much slower process than it is when you're in third person mode, which is basically instant. So it means I end up taking my eyes off the road for longer, and also I don't feel safe looking behind myself for as long. <laughs> Um, Mike is being cheeky because, well, he's Mike. Uh, they were, I, they were, we were suggesting that um, there were things to do to make the game slightly easier until I managed to win it, and he was suggesting that about the only way I would win is if they were all wearing blindfolds. So, um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll just not pay attention to him, shall we? But yeah, this looking behind Lark is quite a lot slower, and so it means, yes, as I say, I take my eyes, off, I have to take my eyes off the road for longer, even if I just press it briefly. Um, that's not my light, but I'm taking it anyway because I've started moving and hopefully they won't notice. Hopefully they won't be behind me. Um, yeah, so, so it takes longer to look behind me. And so, uh, eyes off the road for longer and you don't get as good a look behind you. And because you're looking through the um, through the rear windscreen of the car, you don't get as good a view either. So it's another thing that makes it harder. So he's like a totally important and just to add insult to injury, totally I can't see the traffic light from here. There's nothing behind me. I'm just gonna have to go because I can't. I can't see the traffic light. The roof of the car's in the way. And it's bad enough when that happens in real life. Ooh, there goes purple. At great speed. With great speed comes great responsibility. I'm gonna go the other way, just for sort of sake of my sanity and general safety. Uh, can I go through this way? No, I can't. You see, this is what I mean. I couldn't tell. Uh, well, I I wasn't sure that I was in the wrong lane at that point. So. Yeah, it's tricky. Um, <clears throat> I probably wouldn't have got the wrong lane there if I'd been do using, uh, if I'd been playing in third person. Right. So, um, what's going on here? Nothing. I'm going to turn right on the red because that is the thing you can do. There is the checkpoint. Hurrah! Hurrah! Can I get the question? Is basically it's come down to can I get to it and. Can I get to it without having an unfortunate accident? Can I get to it without the hunter spotting me? Which is also kind of an unfortunate accident. That's a green light. Let's keep moving. They're not following me. That's good. That's a green light as well. I can carry on going. Um, they're still not following me. Excellent. They're probably going to come down here like bats out of hell in a moment. Because So I'm going to keep going. And actually, I'm just going to keep going to run the red light. Oh, no, there is an orange hunter. That's interesting. There must have been some abandoned cars over there then. He's got out of his car. I don't like this. But I'm going to take the checkpoint anyway because that seems like a good idea. Even though there's a purple car coming right for me like that. And I think that was not natural driving. So I'm getting out of here. And at this point, I'm going to rely on the fact that they can't see very well because they're playing in. They're also playing in first person mode. It wouldn't be fair if it was only me. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm going to rely on the fact they can't see very well in order to try and get make a, a getaway while they're uh, not looking. <clears throat> so I'm doing the. I'm obviously on, going to be fairly obviously on the highway because they're going to see the um, the way my um, circle has jumped. 
So my hope is that if I come off the highway again here, um, uh, yeah, okay, illegal turn on the on the, the, the red there, but never mind. Pull up here. Now the problem is they might have spotted a black Stanier, and they might now be watching out for me. I, I was a, I wasn't very subtle when I did all of that. So, yeah, that car next to me is a sports car though, so I can't take that. We've still got the rule that, well, the prey is allowed to drive a sports car if I want. I could take the fuselage, sure. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to take any checkpoints in it. The game actually stops me doing that, um, and it's a, and it's a rule. So you know, the, the fact that I obey the rules stops me doing that as well. Um, yeah, that's a, another fuselage, so I still can't have that one. I should probably get off the beaten track a bit and try and find a different car. Um, that one would be nice. No, no, wouldn't. That's another fuselage. <laughs> um, I thought that was a, um, a felon for a moment. Uh, I'm sort of sitting here at this red light because I'm even more paranoid than normal that there'll be a that a hunter will pop up and yeah that like that there's one. So if I'd gone through that light, he might have he might have spotted me. He might not. Who knows? Um, he was far enough back that I probably have got away with it. But it's not. <laughs> I'm 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 getting wary about taking these sort of risks because it's a bit. It does keep getting me caught. It's probably better if I just sit around and try actually being patient. Although this is getting a bit ridiculous at this junction. I'm, I've had enough actually. Um, there's only so much patience I have for this, for these um, these traffic lights. So right, okay, let's turn turn right here at this these these lights, um, and then look out for a car to um, replace this one. That was a rather bad turn. But still, never mind. What if I stop at these lights and then wait for something to pull up behind me? That's an SUV. I don't, I don't want an SUV. I drove one of those in my last attempt and it didn't go well for me. Um, this is surprisingly difficult. I, I wasn't expecting changing cars to be such a difficult, such a challenge. There's a Duke's over there. Let's follow that. I'll take that. That'll do nicely. Don't oh don't pull into that lane. That means you've got a green light, and you're probably going to go. You're not going. Are you going? No, you're not. Excellent. <laughs> I feel teased and taunted. But there's another Duke's over there, so let's take that. And a 9F, but that's too good. Can't use. That. Can't really use that. Okay. Right. Let's stop wasting time now. Let's head back. Oh, back south now. We'll go back over the over the. Oh. Back over the um, the highway because there's another checkpoint down here, the west of Red Car Park one. Now they're probably they, I saw at least saw Tristan heading up north, um, but I know they tend to they don't worry too much about where the um, where the checkpoints are until I get practically on top of them. So they mostly tend to hunt inside the circle rather than paying too much attention to where the checkpoints are. So this isn't going to throw them off as much as I would like to think it does. I mean, I want to think, yes, I've changed from going north to going south. Ha ha, they're, going to, they're all going to be clustered up in the hills, setting up some sort of cunning ambush, and then they'll see me moving this way, and they'll go, oh no, he's gone the other way. But no, it isn't, it isn't like that. Um, they're not. They, they, tend to, they tend to mostly hunt inside the, um, inside the circle. And so they've got... They, they, they don't need to... Um, they're, they're not going to be on completely on the other side of the city waiting for me at the checkpoint. That's, uh, we don't we don't set the game like that because it's... I don't know, it, yeah, they don't, they, don't, or rather, they don't play like that because they know that looking around in the circle is a more effective way of trying to find me. Ooh. Let's turn right here. This isn't right, this is left. I meant, I meant to turn left. So this is all good because it's down this road here. Ooh, there's purple. You see, you see what I mean? They're, he's back down here already. Now I'm going to do the right turn on red because I want to, and it'll take me down to the checkpoint. They're doing, they're shooting over there. Okay, so they're they're um, fixating on someone else. That means they've got at least one of them has got out of the car and is shooting somebody who isn't me. So that's good. If I nip round this corner here again, right turn on red is borderline. I mean, oh, I can't see anything behind me, but I can take that. And I'm just going to put my foot down through this, this these red lights. It's potentially a giveaway if anyone happens to be following me. But I'm hoping they're not. So I think that might have been a clean capture. Um, all I've got is the sun in my eyes. I have a bad feeling about this. Bad feeling about this, definitely. That was Pete coming up behind me. He drove into the back of me. So I don't want to be here. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I should have run or not, but it's so hard to tell what's going on in first-person mode that 
I wanted I didn't want to hang around and see. Now I've got I've got the Dukes, which is a it's a muscle car, so it's 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 actually reasonably quick, but it struggles a bit with the handling. Um, I don't know whether that's going to be to my strengths or not, um, because at the moment it's the main thing is I, I think he's going to the best way to lose the lose the hunters. I I think ooh, apparently I'm going in the storm drain. Um, this is not what I'm meant to do. Apparently I'm not going in the storm drain. That's interesting. That might actually be a good way to lose him. Let's see, see what that's done. If I now put my foot down and try and get out of here, I don't didn't see anyone with that glance. But this is what I was talking about earlier about it being really difficult to look backwards because you have to take your eyes off the road for a good couple of seconds. I think I'm away. Um, what I think I better do in order to try and sort of to check that I'm away is if I take if I take if I go into a quieter road like, ooh, like if I go around here perhaps. I could go into the car park, but that's probably a bad idea. I'm thinking if I go up a side, quiet side road like this, and then hide a little bit, and look behind me. Yeah, it looks okay. Right, okay, good. Let's get out of this duke. Let's go into the car park here, in fact. Oop, crunch. And try and find a car in here. Now, the problem with taking a car in a car park, as we all know, <clears throat> is that you end up with broken windows, which is not ideal because that's a, a, a dead giveaway that it's uh, that you're a player. Um, but if I can find a convertible, if I can find any car, that'd be a good start. If I could find a convertible, then I would be able to um, then I could put the windows down, um, and you can't see the smashed ones. There are no cars in this car park. Can I turn the circle off at the moment? So, all right, okay. There is a mode we have been testing um, that allows the prey to turn the turn the circle off for the hunters for a well for as long as they want. But while the circle is turned off, they can't uh, take checkpoints. So the point being, it's a way for them to sort of to make an escape stick and to say, yes, look, I've really, really escaped. Give me a moment of peace and quiet to change cars, find something a bit more suitable, that sort of thing. Um, now, we haven't got that turned on, unfortunately, which is what I was trying to do. Watch, I was just testing just then, trying to see if I could, um, if I could hide like that. Now, um, why am I driving like this? I don't know why I'm driving like this. Drive more calmly, Lawrence. Try to blend it. There we go. There doesn't seem to be anyone behind me. That's good. So now I'm going to try and drive up to Square of Squares in this sports car, which means if they do spot me. I should be able to get away quite easily, um, but obviously, as I was saying earlier, I can't take the checkpoint in it. So, um, there are a couple of choices. One is to stop nearby, switch to a different car, sneak over, try and take the checkpoint in something else. That can uh, that can that can that could could potentially could work quite quite well. Um, the other possibility is to get out of the car, wander over to it, and take it on foot. <clears throat> I don't know how that's going to go from a first-person view. Whether it's going to be how easy it is it's going to be to to keep an eye out around myself um, but it could be an interesting way to do it I've taken square of squares a few times on foot before and it sort of lends itself to it reasonably well because there are pavements going basically right up to the uh, up to the checkpoint so it's not too difficult and you and if you're on foot you have the options to sort of delay a little bit and faff around when the hunters are around so if they're if they're lurking around near the checkpoint you can be a little bit more subtle and careful and cunning about it. And it's a bit easier to turn round and that sort of thing and you can yeah, so it's it has potential. Let's let's do yeah, let's do it on foot. That's always especially as I've just had a Okay, that was Pete. Um I should pull up at this red light instead. Now Where them bitches at? Okay, that's a green light. Nope, I think he's got suspicious of me. Maybe he recognised my character model, I don't know. Now the other problem is I can't see around me what's going on very well, so I know that Pete is there somewhere, but I don't know what he's doing. Okay, he's probably trying to follow me, um, because you know, of course he is. <laughs> right, so yeah, but when you're when you're sort of when you've been piled into and you're trying to get your sort of car under control and do something sensible with it, it's very very difficult to tell what's going on. I mean, it's bad enough in third person mode to be honest, but in first person it's even harder. 
However, in first, I'm relying on the fact that in first person it's going to be even even harder for them to try and keep track of where I'm where I'm going when I'm when I'm escaping like this. Especially when I do lots and lots of corners in a car that's faster than theirs and reasonably nippy and agile and stuff. This is not where I wanted to go. Is he still there? Yes, he is still there. Damn it. Fortunately, there's a way out here. Okay, in that case, I think I'm going to need to do a bit more a bit more fleeing because there is still a hunter right behind me. Um, get me out of here. <laughs> oh, that was, a, that was a very good intercept. I'm impressed by that. Um, not in the good way because it's... <laughs> Okay, there's at least two of them. Yeah, it's not not a not a uh, not a good thing really, but it was an impressive intercept. I'm um, quite. Oh, that wasn't how I meant to take that corner at all. That's going to go badly wrong for me. Very badly wrong. For me. All right, fine. I'll carry on going this way if you insist. <sighs> My plan, as you can probably tell, there was to flip round and go the other way and try and take the um, try and take the, the motorway exit. Oh, what's going on here? This is the other big problem with first-person mode. It's very hard to tell what's going on when you're doing when your car's rocking around in strange ways. I'm just box because I was trying to look behind me. Let's jump off here, head back into town. I can't see anything. There we go. I've landed. There's another. I saw a shadow going over, but now the back of my car is so crumpled that I can't see behind me. Oh no. Yeah, that's that's not good. Oh, and it's pulling. It's pulling left a lot as well, which is um not helpful because yeah drifting left a lot like that Ooh, just managed to dodge Mike there um, and Tristan as well yeah if it's pulling left that means I can't there's another reason I can't look behind me because the um, because I if I do the car will start to pull off course and I'll be in trouble because and, and uh, then it'll end up driving into the wall as I did twice then in a row because I didn't didn't twig quite what was going on the first time. Now, I have no idea if I'm still being chased. Um, and it's going to be difficult to find out. Uh, I guess I pull up somewhere. No, that's a dead end. Uh, if I pull up somewhere and just wait a couple of seconds and see if I get hit violently from behind, then that'll tell me. Um, but this car is definitely spent. I'm just going to get out and get this one instead. And look, I'm trying to look around while I get into it. Normally, when you're changing vehicles, if you if you're in third-person mode, you can look around while you're doing it because your camera isn't tied to your character's head. Um, that's not so much the case in first-person mode. You can't you can't look around as you're as you're um, as you're doing something unless your character is actually looking around as well. But that was a really smooth car change. I'm quite pleased with how well that went, um, and that means I'm now back on the approach to the checkpoint. Now, unfortunately, at this point, they have definitely sp spotted what my character model looks like. And so that means that if they pull up next to me, they will almost certainly, they will immediately be able to tell what I, they will recognize me and there's no point in me trying to sort of pretend to be innocent, an, an innocent AI. So I need to probably start playing a little less subtly at this point. Um, I shall hide behind these DPD tr trucks though, because that seems to be a thing. What, what sort of customer? Oh, okay, this is, a, this is a Vigoro. It's a muscle car. That's all right then. I was worried it was going to be one of those sort of closet um, sports cars, the ones I turn out to be a sports car, and I don't. I'm not really aware of it. Right. I'm just going to take this and hightail it. That looks like Pete. I think he's probably going to have seen me. The question is, is he going to be able to turn around fast enough to? Um... Oh, there. Yeah, Mike is behind me. Okay. Yeah, so Pete pro potentially Pete raised, raised the alarm, or maybe Mike saw me blatantly disobeying traffic. What? That did not go as expected. You can normally climb up that. <laughs> Apparently I can't. In, um, I, uh, pro I probably hit it wrongly because I couldn't see what I was doing, I suspect. Um, oh, I don't see anyone behind me. That's good news. Oh, that braked too far too much there for that corner. I think I can hear another performance engine behind me. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. The um, yes, we've got the sounds from the um, from the engines and things, but it seemed to. No, nope, that's that's a purple car. Okay, I have not escaped. Ooh, what's probably going to work well though is the duck into the car park, into the shopping centre, and go the funny way through the shopping centre. Bumpy, bumpy. 
and then up here. This this is going to be difficult to follow, I suspect. And then out here like this. And then maybe round the loop, back down again. I don't know, I'm making this up as I go along. Can you tell? There is nobody behind me. Good. Oh, uh, there is Pete. Did he spot me? No, I don't think he I don't think he did. I need to change cars though, that's my current priority. What are you doing, Lawrence? Drive properly, for goodness sake. Oh dear, there's Mike. Yep, I heard him go past behind me. And Tristan's there again. Damn it. I'm, I messed around there. I, I, sh <laughs> I was almost away, and then I just sort of end up messing around a bit and doing silly things, and rather than pushing the advantage um, and going off and finding a new car. Oh, this is, <laughs> this is difficult. Because you, yep. Yeah. Ooh, that was a near, very nearly a very good intercept, but not quite. <laughs> uh, right. These corner. Okay, looks looks clear behind me for now, but that could just mean they're um, just a tiny bit further back, and they will have seen me take that corner. I don't know. Ooh, that was someone going past sideways, I think, and possibly even upside down. I don't know. It'll be interesting to look back on the. Um, on the video and find out what happened there because that did look like somebody cartwheeling out. That was not how it was meant to go. That's bad. That's bad. This is this is how I get caught. Or this is how I get caught up with at least. Can I go off road here? Yes, this is a good one. Uh, but then, what do you do on the other side of it? That's the question. <laughs> because they get, if they've gone if they overshot, they might end up on this road anyway. Okay, I think I've escaped, but you know, it's that old, I think I've probably escaped, but I can't really tell, problem. Uh, what's in this car park? Is this a hiding place? Am I free? Answer to both of those seems to be yes. Okay, but there aren't any cars parked here, which is extremely unhelpful. I'm going to get out, because this car is visible and burned and stuff. And I'm going to try and be an, uh, a pedestrian. How do you walk to... No. no way. How do you walk to normal speed in this game? I don't know. See you at the circle. Oh dear. What is my character doing? Goodness sake. That's going to blatantly give me away. Oh no, maybe it hasn't. Of course, because of the um, because of the um, oh, that's Pete. Right, <laughs> I couldn't tell. I thought it was just an AI attacking me. Oh no! All right, I was going to say yeah, because of the so I was saved there, despite the fact that I was acting in a ridiculous way. I was saved by the fact that it was difficult for the hunters to look around. Um, so, yeah, Mike didn't spot me, even though I was all over the place as a pedestrian. I'm not sure. The controls weren't... It seems like... I, I suspect that there doesn't seem... In, um, if, you're, if you're playing in third-person mode, when you, try, when you push the stick forwards, or when you press W on the keyboard, um, your, your character walks forwards. And if you want to run, you press and hold other buttons as well. And if you want to sprint, you tap the button. Fine. All that's sort of okay. I understand that, and that's how I expect the game to work. It doesn't seem to be the same in first person mode because I was. Is that a place you can go in? It is, but I'm going to regret it because it isn't a place you can come out of. Oh no. Hope they didn't see me. Run away! Run and hide! Run and hide? I can't go in there. That's not a hide. Just, just run, I guess, for now then. <laughs> That sounds like a hunter car out there. Yes, that's Mike. But he probably won't be able to. See, he probably won't see me as he goes past. <sighs> right. Yeesh. That also sounds like. I'm just paranoid now, and also that they know what I look like. So I don't want to be picking up a car on a busy road like that. I need to find a quiet road. Like this one actually over here is probably quite good. If I can pick up a car on this road, but it's of course it's a quieter road, so 
Yeah, I d and I don't have a walk speed on this character now, which is quite unhelpful. Or maybe I could do it by only pushing the stick up a little bit. I don't know. I've got my hands on the keyboard and mouse now because I'm in first person. And I'm in on foot, so that would have been a good car to take. Ooh, what's this? This will do for now. And I'll do another... That was a weird way to do the car chain. Take the bloody... Take the... Steal the car! It's the whole point of this game. It's in the clues in the name. Jeez. Okay. Apparently I'm not stealing that car. <laughs> um, there's another Dukes coming up. They're quite good. Let's take that. Nope, there's an orange car as well. Heck. Stop randomly. <sighs> okay. Once again, I seem to have managed to get away with some extremely unconvincing behaviour. Probably because the hunters just couldn't see me very well. Oh, this is stressful. Okay, they're shooting over that. There's Tristan. Let's go back down this hill and try and grab a car coming up it. Like that one. I don't care what it is, it's Stania, that'll do. Ooh, it's going into the car park, even better. Maybe I should have just waited down there, because this is basically where I abandoned my, my, abandoned my car up there. In fact, there it is. Um, but there's another one down here now, it's just being dropped off. So I can take that, and hopefully it'll be... Yes, it's unlocked, excellent. Right, let's get out of here. In fact, let's get over to the let's get over to the golf course. That's a good start, isn't it? This is difficult. This first person thing, and it's it's a couple of thing. It's a couple of things. So partly because the game is just is just harder from first person view because you can't tell what you're doing quite as well. You can't tell. You can't see what's going on around you. You don't have as good a um, sense of spatial awareness, essentially. But also, there are a number of things that are just I don't know, some of the glitches seem to be glitchier from first person, but should we, should we say? Like, when you tell your character to run around a bit, they they twitch a bit in, in an odd direction and stuff like that, and that's worse than it is in first person, I think. Uh, worse, in th worse in first person than in third person, so it's a bit... It's, it's a little bit tricky, but we'll... Um, back in a car now, so things are a little bit more well-behaved, I, I hope. We shall see how this goes. Right, I want the middle lane down here, because we're going to the golf club, because it's the nearer one. I don't want to drive all the way down to the ghetto right now. I just want to go over here and... Ooh, green light, that's convenient. I can hear a car alarm. It's not to do, nothing to do with me, though. Not me, Governor. I'm innocent. I'm an innocent AI just making my way across Los Santos. Don't look at me twice, please. <laughs> uh, I'm on the main roads, which is not ideal but on the other hand the main roads get you places quicker and they're more um, and maybe they're faster I don't maybe they're, they're, maybe they're easier to navigate as well I, I don't know but I'm gonna be coming off this road in a minute so it's not too much of a problem there we go. Just switch, switch lanes here and then follow up beside the golf club that's a green light I think oh no it's not not a green light so that is now a green light, though. Oh, that was some bad driving. It's very lumpy driving. Hopefully they're not. Hopefully they weren't around. And if they were around, hopefully they weren't able to see it. I just, just have to try and just vaguely hope and glance behind me every, every so often when it looks like there's a reasonably clear bit of road and yeah, hope for the best. But this is going quite well actually. I've got to the fourth checkpoint. Um, I mean I probably shouldn't say things like that because that way lies um, hubris and madness and death and taxes and other certainties. There we go, that should be, yep, that's that one taken. Let's carry on round the golf course. Let's... I don't know whether Tristan's suspicious of me at this point. Let's go over here. I hear crashing noises behind me. Is that him? That is him trying to follow me, okay. Alright, I'm at... Can't, I haven't got the power to push him out of the way. That's annoying. Alright, I'm going back this way. It's 
probably unwise, but I'll head this way. This is this is back in towards Moral City. I I knew heading back to the check towards the checkpoint was the wrong way to was the wrong way to go. What's that fuselade doing? He's driving as fast as I am. <laughs> so a scared AI in a fuselade is about as fast as a um, a scared player in a Stania. <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> I think I think I saw some purple then when I look back. It's really really hard to tell. Hopefully going over a bit of a rise and then jamming on the brakes and turning is going to make me hard to follow. I think I saw a player car behind me. It's really, really hard to tell because, again, it's the visibility out of the back of the car is, is not very good. Uh, airport spaghetti or docks entrance. Well, they're both south, so let's do south for a bit. But then I can think about another car. Um, hmm. I think I might be free. Um... So I'm going to do a bit of evasiveness. Now, airport spaghetti is quite an easy one to take. So... I think I'm going to go for that one. But I am going to go for a car change first. What's that? That's a... No, that's a 9F. That's far too sporty. Um, <laughs> it sounds like I'm playing the not that one, not that one game. I promise I'm not. Oh, that's a 9F again. There was a suitable car at the front of that queue, but I've gone past it, so I'm not going to take it. What have we got over here? Motorbike is an interesting idea. Okay, let, now I've used two dupes already this session. That's this this run. That's gonna that's a bit much. It's gonna be turning into a cliche. Um, come on, it's all sports cars. And okay, or all, all right, another dupes it is. Oh, really? actually, the Vigoro. That's probably a slightly better. It's slightly slightly less ostentatious and over the top than the Dukes. So we'll take that one instead. Right, so, airport spaghetti or dock entrance. I think, let's not try and showboat. Let's go for the airport spaghetti, because it, simply because it, it is the easier, um, the easier uh, checkpoint out of the two to take. So I think that's probably the one to do. Um, I'm not, if I'd been winning every single game for ages, well, we probably made it harder by having single checkpoints or something else to make the make the game a bit more challenging for me. If I've been if I've been winning a lot, um, I haven't been winning a lot, so I'm not going to go for um, showboating and hubris. I'm going to try and just go for the checkpoint, the easier to che easier checkpoint in this case. So let's get onto the. I think if I get on the highway here, I think you can get from the highway. You can go through airport spaghetti. I can't see behind me. My mirrors are. Um, <laughs> yeah, the mirrors appear slightly shiny, and you get a sort of a vague idea of what they're probably supposed to be reflecting. But they're certainly not mirrors. You can't use them to look behind you, it's, which is a bit of a shame, really. Okay, here we are. This is the um, this is the main highway that doesn't go to airport spaghetti. But I think you can get off it to get to the spaghetti, the airport spaghetti junction area. Was that bad driving or was that a hunter? That was bad driving. Okay. Well, I've got a smashed up car now. Um, let's come off here. Where am I? Okay, this is no, this is about right. This is spot on, in fact. Take this turn. Ignore all of the lights because I'm feeling brave or stupid or something. We'll just take airport spaghetti in a fairly obvious way. Like, just drive through it on one of the flat roads. Grab that. And then, oh, they're quite a long way. Well, at least one of them is quite a long way away. That's that's good news. Um, so I've taken it. Problem is, they're now going to be looking for any cars that are leaving here. Um, but I'm kind of I have to, I don't see any hunters. And if I can't see them, hopefully they can't see me. I mean, I don't have very good visibility as we've been discussing. <laughs> um, but maybe if I just sort of try and act natural we'll see how it goes I'll just head away from there at sensible speeds we're in the final hunt now and the final hunt is that the prey has to get to more than a certain distance away from the hunters for a certain time it's something like 500 meters for 20 seconds and when that happens and if I manage to do that then I win the game no now the obvious thing to do for a final hunt is if you're not whether you're being followed or not actually is just to put your foot down and try and get out of there and to be honest, that's probably what I should be doing. I don't know why I'm just sitting here. Let's, let's do that. Let's just try and get out of here. I mean, my, my theory was sort of that maybe it would be worth trying to be a little bit subtle and hope they don't spot me. 
Oh, don't go down there. That's a dead end. Yeah, go this way instead. This is a better way to go. Um, yeah, it was sort of be safe. Sneak away from the checkpoint at least a little bit until you know that it's reasonably safe. I mean, I think it's safe now. It's kind of hard to tell because I have very, very poor visibility. <laughs> but I'm just going to keep going this. Yeah, I'll head off this way and we'll, we'll see what happens. This is it's just a general direction of away. Exactly where you go doesn't matter so much as, as just sort of dis just putting down some distance. So I'm basically going to leave the city, go into the oil fields, and have some sort of spectacular crash. Now at this point, I'm probably either. Oh, there we go. Ah, <sighs> I have, I've done it. Yeah. So the um, the I think the advantage of being in first person for the prey is that the the hunters easily lose you. The advantage, the disadvantage is that you can't tell whether they've lost you or not. But them having so much trouble keeping keeping an eye on you, I think, makes it makes it worth it and makes it worthwhile and, 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 and makes it work. And that's why I was able to do a bit better this time. <laughs> well, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I uh, hope you'll come back next week for the next one. <laughs> I'll see you then. Mike is being deployed uh, uh, uh. to come and investigate. My view was it was pulling left. It's, it had uh, performance damage, therefore I wanted it repaired. Uh, Kaj went past it. No, oh, no, it was Pete, never mind. He's just taking it. Oh, no, he's just taking it. I'm heading west. Okay, so uh, not east. I've got cars moving at speed off so sort of west way. So it's a colourful car park. Yeah. I'm following a muscle car here, but it hasn't really done anything to make me suspicious. Bit janky. I've got an orange muscle car here that's really struggling to stay in lane and drive in a straight line. Really? Um, just out. Just uh, our gallery. Our gallery. Just turned right. I'm just going to do the basic challenge. Oh, I can't now. No. Oh, that's a regular pistol, so I can just finish her off. Nope. Good. Is the AI being bad with its lane discipline? He's taking it. He's taking something. Yep. Okay, so I don't think he's gone north. I think I've got him. Yep, yeah, Chinese monument. Uh, we are heading south. Orange muscle car. Didn't see the occupant yet. Uh, heading towards, uh, taking a left. Um, passing the Viceroy Hotel. Towards Heliport. Are you left, Mike? Hmm? Are you left? Okay. Um, he's continuing on towards uh, airport. Ah. Yeah, he's taking a right? left at the junction. Left ahead, Mike. No. Uh, heading towards stadium. Stadium, gotcha. Uh, arena, whatever you want to call it. Following the road round, we are taking a jump down towards the um, storm drain. Okay. I've lost. Oh, it. He's, he's not in the storm drain. He didn't go in. Ah. Uh, he. I didn't see where he went, but I saw him pulling back out. Right. Sneaky bugger. Where was his last known... Oh, he's circled to jump south. Uh, arena, basically. Uh, north, north again, north again. Main road into Ghetto. 
Orange muscle car. Yes. Yeah. We've probably had long enough to change car now. Which point I put bets on him being on Elysian Island? You think in the first person mode he can't see it well enough to avoid it? Uh, my car's sounding ropey, so I'm going to head out and repair. I'm getting shot at. By a gang member. Who's now despawned. Circle so move. Jump. Covering square squares. I'm over in industrials. Um, yeah, yeah I'm pre proceeding rapidly up towards square squares. Right, I, I think he was in south side ghetto. He's now gone north side ghetto. There's um, a car heading a J turn. I think he might have him. Whereabouts? Uh, yeah, why, uh, heading the bridge, uh, entering into ghetto towards Square of Squares. Uh, white car. Uh, in Square of Squares now. Heading north. My car was surviving this case. Uh, he's just gone around it, so we're now heading west. Uh, through checkpoint now. He's not taking it, obviously. Um, he's taken a right just for the bridge. Uh, and a right again, doubling back to Square of Squares. When you say west, did you mean east? Uh, maybe. Uh, he's gone left. Where did you go? And left again. So we're now heading east. Yes. He's taking a left into an alleyway. Very confused. Can you be more? But there is an alleyway just here. Uh, we are coming out the alleyway now. Onto square of squares again. Into checkpoint again. We're going through checkpoint towards Pillbox Hill. Uh, I see it. Yep, heading north from, uh, from checkpoint. Ooh. Yep. He's crashed. Yep. Sorry, He's sorry. recovered though. I crashed. On your right. On, uh, behind you, Tristan. I'm just going to station keep on your rear right hand side. Okay. Right one ahead. Yep, just going straight on. Stopping mm -hmm. and going round. Stopping and crashing. Nice hit, nice hit. Pin, pin, pin. Oh. Ah! Uh, he's now driving what is very definitely a compact. <laughs> Uh, he's proceeding up the highway. He's trying to come out here. He's... Oh! <laughs> I think Tristan used me as a ramp there. Oh, sorry. He's yeah. gone up to Casino and is now heading back south again. Yeah. Uh, he's crashed into a lamppost. He's going oh, straight Lawrence. on. Uh, off, off the jump, down onto the highway again. I'll say if I see him in a moment. Uh, uh. I don't see him. Checking around. Uh, that's a surprisingly good move. Are you guys in the circle still? I'm. I'm heading no. north. He's got to have gone north. Yeah. Found him. He's heading south, southbound towards pillboxes. Ah! I flipped southbound on the correct side of the thing. Circles oh, just I moved. I th they don't know whether he came off or not. I'm going to assume he came off. I'll continue down. Yeah, I'm with Pete. Taking it. Uh, Taking it. I believe he's heading northbound from the checkpoint, just turning left. Ah, uh, he's in a blind spot. Yeah, I've got him, I've got him, I've got him. He's going through the tunnel heading west. He's just failed to go onto highway. It is a grey... It's an oracle. Uh -huh. He's heading south again. Uh, oh, it's, an, it's what's left of a muscle car. Uh, weaving through yep. higher, lower, still heading south. Towards Simeon's. Uh, not He's quite. just towards turned right towards Red Car Park. And turning right again up the side of Red Car Park. Yep. Ah! I've had a crash. Dog's leg. Ah! Sorry, no I was trying to straighten you up. I don't see him though. Oh, going north straight through the dog. Going line. north. Ah. Uh. Yep, still north, east side of shopping centre. Going into shopping centre. Okay. Shopping centre now. When you say into shopping centre, I haven't seen him come out again. No, I, I didn't. I saw him go into shopping centre in the distance. He might be up on the jump. I'm going to head up there. 
Yeah, it's also possible I see a over me muscle or... car heading south, actually. That looks... Is it, is it heavily yes. damaged? Yes, uh, south side of the shopping centre. Heading... Uh, oh. West now. Yeah, that's the one. Did I hit him? Maybe, I don't know. Oh, uh, approaching five ways. Through five ways, west. I can do to some degree. Oh, turned right. And I didn't. Uh, I've lost sight of him heading toward low car parks. Assume turned right. Found him heading back towards five ways from low car parks. Going back towards shopping centre, I think, but not certain. Oh, yeah, I'm with you. Yes, that's towards shopping centre. Is that? Yeah, that's him going north, uh, north along the west, west side. side of shopping centre. I've spun it. So like clever like that. I don't see him. Neither do I. Circles jump slightly to the left, so I think he's gone along and then turned left. Okay, I'm going to turn left here. Yeah. Yeah, I really need to repair at some point. Oh, we all do. <laughs> yeah, it's the, the refinding sort of still counts as the same chase. Maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's it's yeah. just that. I'm out of the circle it's, now. So. It's it's a good minute since we last saw him. I'd say. Is yeah. Oh, it's gonna. Did you just get carjacked? There's a yes, uh, Mike, heading towards you, this blue car. That I'm blue sure car that. there. The one, uh, this one I'm behind. Uh, Through the junction now. Where are you? Oh, I am. Uh, we're heading on a boulevard. Oh. Uh, yep, so it will move. He's turned yeah, left. Yeah, it's this guy. Oh. Heading north. The left again at the end. Uh, heading back towards Boulevard, heading right. Eclipse Tower's direction. Uh, still oh, I've lost them. Uh, still heading west along there. Cars happen. Passing the train uh, car thing. Turning south. Um, I think this is by Eclipse Towers. Uh, I, I see turn left. Now. Turn left, turn left. Uh, and then turning next right, is that into an alleyway or no? It's down the road. Uh, and then I've lost sight of him, I'm afraid. Except the alleyways ran there. There's a few of them. Yeah, but I... he didn't turn right. I don't think. Right. I'm out. Just gonna do a quick visual inspection of my car. Okay, I don't have a car. Um, I just had a massive crash. Yeah, I think he was here. This smashed cars and dead people. He's taken up. He's taken up. Uh, doubt it was going south. Try going north. I'm going clockwise right across course at the moment. If not on foot. You dancing. Uh, got black car, brown hair. I think that's near you, Mike. Go clockwise round golf course. Uh, heading back towards okay. the checkpoint. That one. And this. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Eyes on. Where are you? Don't be seen in front of me. South checkpoint. Um, I think it's south. Approaching movie studios. Uh, uh, I've lost you. Anti-clockwise, uh, but road out from movie studios. Heading north, away from movie studios again. By the petrol station. Uh, heading west from there, and then south. I'm just following the trail of falling over lampposts. 
Uh, I can't steer. He was uh, down there, way? but I've lo lost him and I can't steer. Probably, probably not that way because that's the edge of the circle. So looking around with the mouse is a lot easier. Definitely. Uh, play to him. Yeah. It's nice to have him win the case. Oh, I'm invisible. Oh yeah, same. Are you sure you're not just in first person? Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unpopular opinion, I think that was actually a good level of balance there. I, I like, agree. For the hunters, yeah. that was challenging. Yeah. yeah. But like not, not obviously not impossible because we, we did find you a few times. Yeah. Um, but yeah, challenging. That was stressful. I think when I said it's harder for everybody, I think that's definitely true. I do but, think it's yeah. more harder for the hunters. Yes, I agree with you.